the foodie challenge that the city was holding back in 2017. Um, they invited the community to come and try out some of their favorite recipes. Um, I did a cashew and mushroom filled ravioli from scratch and came in second place, which was super exciting um, considering I went up against so much non-vegan food. So we opened Inside Eli Fish in the incubator kitchen in April 2018. And right around Right around the end of 2019, we were doing really well. We were thinking we gotta start looking for a bigger spot. And of course, everybody knows what happened in early 2020. Uh, COVID hit, we had no idea what was gonna happen. Um, Matt Gray said we were welcome to stay as long as we needed to um, to get through everything. And um, our, one of our customers, Stephen Valley, said, hey, I got a great spot for you. It's gonna be perfect. So we came and checked out this new space and we said, let's do it. So closed our kitchen inside Eli Fish the end of January and started moving things over and getting things set up with contracting and permits and everything. Um, that took about three months, I think, to get everything up and running to where we could actually open the doors to customers. We did our soft opening um, the end of April, early May. And, um, and since then, we've been working out the kinks and trying to figure out what we want to do before we, we kind of went, went for the ribbon cutting today. <laughs> I can't leave Batavia. And Batavia, honestly, they really need it. Um, you know, p people say, come to Rochester, come to Buffalo. And it's, Rochester and Buffalo have a lot of plant-based um, options. And if we ever do expand, it's going to be, you know, an additional location when we're ready for it. But. We'll always be here at Batavia.